and reference what is sense and what is reference first of all we need to know about this so sense and reference are the two aspects of semantics that how semantics is used and what do they play the role in semantics reference A reference deals with the relationship of the linguistic elements that are the words and the sentences with the non linguistic world elements means a uh, reference deals with the relationship of the words outside the linguistics in the world and since is a complete system and relationship between the words and is only concerned with the linguistic relationships we have seen the two differences that sense um is the relationship between the linguistic world while the reference is the relationship outside the linguistic world as well nothing outside the world can be handled by the sense Semantics is usually concerned with how we relate the language to the other languages. In semantics, semantics actually deal with the meaning of the words, right? <coughs> so, in semantics, uh, we are usually concerned with the relation of this language with other languages. So, reference is the important element in this semantics. reference actually depends upon the experience rather than the word itself that how you feel something how you experienced something is basic thing that is to be discussed in the reference as we said the reference shows the relationship between the words and is concerned only with the linguistic relationships sense is the statistical word <clears throat> or the words that are used in the sense are of not your choice the words that are used in the sentence in the sense are the words that basically the words are in reference we use the words or depending upon our experiences but in sense we use the words the way they are they do not rely on your feelings they just rely upon how the word is used in a language and how the word is dictionaries are usually concerned with sense how they are concerned with sense in sense the meaning is limited limited that the next person cannot go beyond that limit for example if you compliment a single thing of a person for example if you says a person hey your watch is looking beautiful so this compliment is just limited to the watch of that person neither the personal relationship of you nor your personal attachment toward the person just the watch the person is wearing you just complimented his watch that hey your watch is looking beautiful that's it you wouldn't uh, compliment uh, her um his you can say um any personal relationship or any feelings of you toward him you just complimented his looks so the compliment is only limited to a certain point not on your personal experience and personal relationship so the sense is basically limited in the meaning <clears throat> sense actually deals with how the word is suitable for the context or not what do you mean by this the word is suitable for the context or not means that either the word is used or not either the proper word is used or not for example if someone ask you what is the male of the cow you can't say the horse is the male of the cow because horse is not the male of the cow right and uh, what told us that horse is not the male of the cow the sense sense told us that horse cannot be used as the male of the cow as cow's male is bull and horse is itself a male no doubt but it is the male of mare mare means female horse a ghodi so sense basically gives us the <clears throat> um proper sense whether the word is used in suitable context or not it is limited and it is up to a certain point we cannot use in um you can say we cannot go beyond the limits of the sense and the reference deals with the words how the words are linked with the world how the words are connected to the world these are what is dealt in references for example if a person is sad 
the level of sadness is different for different persons um for example if um you are feeling a little bit sad today you are feeling a little bit low today maybe you name that feeling as sad and if i am crying badly and maybe i name that feeling sad so the level of sadness is different for different persons and if you feel something it depends upon you what would you name that feeling either you are anxious or you are confused or you are um you can say tensed this all is up to you that what do you name the certain feeling that you have so from all this stuff we conclude that reference depends upon the experiences rather than the word itself while the sense depend upon the word itself rather than the experiences